Back from the team first round, Malky and Abe said yesterday that you officially signed the deal with Popeyes for this fight. How, how excited are you, are you and how did that come together? Yeah, I'm really excited. <coughs> My manager right now got the contract in his hand. So I haven't officially signed yet, but I'm about to. But yeah, it's, it's a cool feeling. Can we can we witness the, the signing right here in front of us? Yeah, for sure, but you can't see how much you're going to eat. Is it a good amount of money? Yeah, it's good amount of money. Are they paying you in chicken and money, or is it just <laughs> money? <laughs> chicken and money. Like, how, how often do you eat Popeyes? Um, I used to eat it every now and then, but now I'm eating it every day. There you go. There so, again. I won't make weight next fight. So don't, don't even ask me. I was gonna ask you. I guess a few of the Houston area Popeyes restaurants said that you can you can eat there now for free for life. Is this a bad thing for your MMA career? <laughs> <laughs> no, they have a healthy menu. They have a healthy menu. Man. Yeah, they have a healthy menu. <laughs> they have salad menu Popeyes? Yeah, they got they go they go um, bake some chicken, bacon. They don't got everything got to be fried. All right. Do you feel like this has given you a mental edge over Daniel? You're the official Popeyes guy now. Oh, I'm not at all. I think the money will give me a mental edge. Um, how much they pay me, how much I'm, that I can make after this fight, that's what's giving me a mental edge. That's what I'm doing it for. I'm not trying to do it to be the best fight in the world. So. Yesterday, uh, Daniel was. Uh, he went into some detail about about your past. He's apparently done some research about you and you know where you come from. You know your time in prison and after prison. Uh, did you see any of that? And were you surprised that he knew all that about you? He don't know. He don't know. He think he better than he don't. <clears throat> and for him to say that he don't believe that my back was really hurting and I really didn't train 30 minutes. That's fine. That's real good if he don't um, believe all that. I've been doing a lot better. My back has been great lately. Um, I've been training way more than I need to. I even overtrained last week. The doctor we got blood work done and everything. The doctor said I've been overtraining. So I need to my protein and just really monitoring the stuff that I haven't been doing before in my career. So I'm feeling great. Yesterday. You said something like. Derek is a dangerous guy because he fought back from, he used the word, the pitch from hell. You know, you were, you were you were in jail and you fought your way back. A lot of people don't, and you, and you have. Is there any truth to that? Do you feel like he is right when he says that you are a more dangerous guy because you've already seen what the worst is and you've made your way back. You're a millionaire, you're fighting for the UFC title, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know about being a millionaire. I'm not a <laughs> I got some money, but not a millionaire. Of course, so that I do carry all that into every fight that I've been in. That's what really gets me going because my bad. You know, I think about all the tough times and the bad times I have in my life. And I bring all that into my life. It's only because it's kind of hard going in there trying to fight someone that didn't do anything to you. So you really got to try to find some type of mental edge on your phone. We saw you push your last two opponents at the ceremonial way and got the crowd all buzzing. Is that part of it to get yourself sort of falsely mad at them to fire yourself up? No, not at all. It just if they say something to me, they push you. But I'm not going in there trying to push anyone. You know, I'm just going in there trying to look in the eyes and the soul of us. But if they want to say something crazy to me, then I'm gonna push you. Or whatever I'm trying to do. So up to this point, has anything Daniel said rubbed you the wrong way, or, or is this pretty much a friendly matchup now? No, it's pretty much a friendly matchup now since Papa told me don't even worry about that shit. Yesterday, Daniel said that you have no chance of winning the fight, but I saw you went on his Instagram and said that you were going to armbar him in the first round. <laughs> is, is that for real? Like, do you think you can genuinely armbar him the first round of this fight? I if you think I have no chance, that's fine. You know, I have no chance in every fight that you've been in the UFC. I've been here and all that. My whole career, I don't care. I don't care. What's your official prediction? Um, just whenever I get tired of getting beat up or taken down, whatever you plan on doing, then I'm going to try to end the fight. Yeah, good. You you joke a lot with us. And oh yeah. You probably think our questions are dumb sometimes. Yeah. And, and you, <laughs> you, you, you say that you're a vlogger and a mixed martial artist, but in many ways, because of your past and where you are now, do you feel like you can you can be an inspiration and a role model to, to some younger people? Yes, for sure. That'd be great. I'd be a role model, inspiration to people that been in my shoes before and going through it and stuff like that. It's great. You know?
were there times back then when, when times are going bad where you're thinking like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out of here, you know, I don't know what my life is gonna be like in a few years, like were well, times dark at one point? Times were real dark, um, you know, I, they denied me three times before. The first time my mind was still doing some crazy stuff, getting out, doing some revenge type stuff. And, and whenever they told me I couldn't go home, and I really sat down. And I still had the anger built up in me when they denied me the second time. And I really just sat down and like, okay, I really had to change my thinking in my life. And I started planning on stuff. I need to be doing better whenever I get out. I made my third parole. I believe if I made my first parole, I wouldn't be here today. I still wouldn't be out there for me. Do you still have that anger, or is, or is it martial arts kind of a release now? Uh, martial arts is a release, and I was really angry out in me and whatever it was going on. I was like about it. I was concerned about it. I was like, the question I keep getting on Twitter, Derek, is what the heck happens if the Black Beast wins? What, I mean, what happens next? I mean, what does happen next? What does the UFC, the heavyweight division, look like if you're the champion on Saturday? If I'm the champion, the whole UFC division should be ashamed of themselves. I'm still failing to be a champion. It's all just a long relocation. Yo, Derek, everything you said in the last couple of weeks has been a viral moment. What would it be to knock out uh, Daniel Cormier? What kind of viral moment would that be for you and the sport? Like I said, it'd be disrespectful to the sport because I had no mixed martial arts background at all. The guy that's a heavyweight champion at the UFC where all these great legends before me had some type of mixed martial arts history background and being a champion. You know, you were you were popular on Instagram before you made your infamous comments. Are you surprised that it's kind of taken on a life of its own? Uh, your, your highlighted quote. Yeah, I believe so. It's crazy. I'm, I'm always like that. You know, I'm always saying crazy stuff. Only just because I don't like doing interviews and stuff like that. And people are always trying to get into my life in my head as well. And I really got so few know what's going on. We've heard you say that you don't really care about the title. You don't really care about fighting at MSG. Would you care about being, if you win, a pay-per-view star, a lead attraction for UFC? Nah, it's only if they pay me pretty good, then I care. I'm not in the sport to try to be the best fighter in the world either. At all, I don't give a damn about being the best fighter in the world. I'm not trying to be the best fighter. And it'd be great if people forget about me next week. You know, I don't care if I'm ever going to win my sport for any more. So, I'm not in the sport in the did you ever find out where Ronda Rousey fine ass is at? <laughs> My wife don't want me to talk about that anymore, so I can't talk about that.